right, so we're going to learn how to play this song for Elise. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to write out the chord progression. We're in the key of A minor. Essentially what you're doing is you're going from A to E, so that's A minor, to E major, back to A. And you're going to repeat that. And we'll call this our A section. Then we're going to go C, G, A, E. A little circle of fifth action there. And we'll call this our B section. So these are the chords. This is the harmonic bass for Furley's. And the way we're going to play that harmonic bass is with octaves in the left hand. Okay, so you start off with A as our first octave. A and A with a fifth in the middle. Okay. A, E, A. Then our next octave is just going to be E like that. But instead of playing the fifth in the middle, we're actually going to use the second finger and travel up to a G sharp like that. So E, E, G sharp, and let the hand come around there, kind of pivot on that second finger. So all together, we'll play A, E, A, E, E, G sharp. And this is in a three, three count, so one and two, three, one and two, three, one and two, three, and then you'll hold it for three counts. Just like that. One and two, three, one and two, three, one and two. And notice my pedaling. I essentially pedal on uh, each bass line. One and two, three, one and two, three, one and two, three. All right, now we're gonna add our melody. You want to be in A minor hand position, essentially A, B, C, D, E. Have your fingers there, just like that. And then with your fifth finger and your fourth finger, you can play E, D sharp. Now, a lot of people play this song and they go crazy with this. This is kind of fun. <laughs> but you're only going to be doing this a few times. Okay, so essentially the easiest way to do this is to know the number of E's. One, two, three. You're going to play three E's leading in from the D sharp with it in between them. So, one, two, three. And that's it. One and two and three. And then you move it down to a B with the second finger. D with the fourth. C with the third. A with the thumb. Let's do it together slowly. Two, three E's, B, D, C, A. Okay, so that is what goes with the first harmony. And essentially what you do is you play that melody and then you play the bass. You roll the bass just like that. We'll start on counting three and so three and one and two and three and one like that three and one and two and three and one so you notice this a and the bass a come down at the same time as you roll it three and three and one and two and three and one here's the next set of melody notes c e a which is actually an a minor chord in first inversion which goes up to a B. Now that B is a part of your E chord. So that B is going to be played with your E bass there. So C, E, A, B, and then bringing the E and the G sharp. So see if we can put all that together. A, E, A, E, E, G sharp, just like that. One more time. Okay, 
then here's the next part. Now we're going to expand on the E, E, G sharp, B. And the finger that I'm using is the finger that you want to use. So E, G sharp, B, play with one, two, three. Then you're going to land on the fourth finger as a C. And C is a part of the A minor chord, so you're going to play this A, E, A again. So all together is this. A, E, A. E, G sharp. One more time. Now, important the concept here is this. This is really one idea. Really, what you have is an arpeggiation that is split between the left and the right. So the right hand comes in with this beautiful melody. The left hand plays A, E, A, C, E. This is all an A minor chord. So you want to play this flowing one and two and three and just like that eighth notes, the three count. One and two and three and one and two and three and one like that. Okay. Three and one and two and three and one and two. So kind of connect that idea. The pedal comes in on each change of the bass. 